Good morning. It is Brent with Blackens Motorsports. It is eight degrees below zero here with a wind chill of uh, negative 31. Uh, I'm warm inside the shop though, and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of work before holiday seasons come up. Um, did get our shipment from Calico for some coated uh, big block Chevrolet rod bearings in a standard size. So hopefully that will get us uh, rocking and rolling on our Molnar rod bearing clearances. Uh, before I check those though, I am going to uh, weigh the big ends and the little ends of our, of our rods and record those so that once I get the bearings in there and get the clearances checked, um, I don't have to break them all back down and, and weigh them again. So just being a little uh, proactive here. And before I even get to that, I just want to say uh, we're coming up on the new year. And I just want to uh, thank you guys for being part of the channel uh, over the past year. And this isn't going to sound like a lot compared to some of the other YouTube channels. But uh, my little dinky hole in the wall youtube channel has gained uh about 2700 subscribers since this time last year and um we've had over 42,000 hours of watch time and uh i think over a half a million views so um you know i'm not out to uh break world records or anything with my youtube channel I recognize that I'm uh, a very small niche in the engine building world. Uh, FE Fords are not uh, small block Chevrolets, nor are they small block Fords, but um, you know, I like to play with them. So here we are. But uh, thank you guys for being part of the channel. And if you have any um, suggestions on what I could do to grow the channel uh, up over what it is right now, um, I'd be happy to hear that and entertain whatever thoughts that you had. In the meantime, we're going to get our rods weighed and recorded. And uh, that will allow me to do my bob weight calculations later on and match up parts between rods, pistons, wrist pins, locks, all that stuff. And then we'll get our rod bearing clearances checked. So when you balance a crank, um, it's broken down into the rotating portion of the assembly and the reciprocating portion of the assembly. So which side of the rod uh, that you're on will uh, dictate which uh, part that gets added to. Uh, the little end of the rod is the piston side. So that's the reciprocating, reciprocating portion of, of the balance. And the big end is the rotating portion so um, what we do is we go through and measure each rod and uh, I go through and do each one record it uh, the little end is 230.1 grams and then I can switch my uh, mandrel over to this side and re uh, calibrate my scale and flip it around and measure the big end so that'll let me go through and record all the rate the weights for each rod and we got all of our uh, rods measured on the little and the big end when the pistons come and i get those components in here um, i can usually mix and match parts to balance the weights out i generally don't like to start grinding on on the rods in order to make them lighter um, i've usually found that if you take some time and pair components up that you could match things up pretty easily so we're gonna get our uh, calico coated rod bearings out and I'm gonna load all the rods. I'm pretty confident that uh, I won't have to uh, uh, redo anything. So, um, but just to be on the safe side, we'll check one and see where we are and and then go from there. But um, if, you, if you wanna know why I'm doing this, uh, check out uh, one of the last videos that I made where we were chasing rod bearing clearances around. And I had to order some bearings 
and those are in and we're going to finalize our rod bearing clearances right now. First one down. All right. Just to show the precision of uh, measuring cranks, even a week later, I am still at 21988, which is what I measured last week. Got my bore mic. Um, and by that, I meant I completely broke my mic down and remeasured. So I measured right back to the 10,000th of an inch uh, a week later. So here's what we're uh, wanting to get. About 2.2, two, almost 2.3. So I feel pretty confident, confident that I can uh, go ahead and load uh, these rods up and go and just fly through and check bearing clearances. Um, what I want to do, uh, if you'll notice, um, a lot of these rods have the rod and the cap numbered, and they're just random numbers. This one's 1443. Uh, here's 1410. So what I can do is um, uh, I'm blocking out the customer's name, and uh, I can just um, lost my train of thought. I can write down the identifier of the rod next to uh, the clearance that I'm about to write down and what the bearings I'm using. And um, that way, when I go back and hang pistons on rods and everything, I can keep all, uh, all my numbers. So since we are um, on the number one rod journal, um, here's how I have everything recorded out and since I'm on the number one I can jump down to number five and um, since those uh, two rods share that journal and record it that way and then you can chop down to the next rod throw which will be two and six and then three and seven and then four and eight and this is the last one and all the clearances were uh, the majority of them were 0022 and 0023 so uh, a good crankshaft, uh, like the scat crank, uh, the rod journal is only varied by one ten thousandth of an inch. So, uh, a high quality part and good rods and good bearings, and we dialed the bearing clearances in with uh, the bearing choices that we had. So, I'm going to put uh, a fork in this one for right now. Uh, block is, uh, I've got a lot of things at the machinist. Um, Still waiting on a crank to be touched and um, got a couple of blocks that have to be machined right now uh, for the current workload. But uh, as soon as those get in here, we can get busy. And um, But this is just one step that I've already taken and it's something I don't have to do later down the road. It's a couple hours that uh, uh, I've already invested into the engine and work that will not have to be done. So. I usually try to stay busy and hop from things to things, do what I can at the time, and uh, we can check this off that the rod bearing clearance is already checked. So, um, got a couple other updates for you, and I'll have uh, probably at least one other video um, over the weekend. If I don't hear back from you guys or see you guys, uh, then I wanna say happy holidays to you and stay warm. It is blistering cold outside where I'm at. Hope you're staying warm. And uh, if you haven't taken time to subscribe to Likens Motorsports channel, please do that. Uh, I appreciate it very much. And uh, you won't have to miss out on all the cool Ford FE and small block Ford and uh, Cleaver and all kinds of other stuff that we have uh, on the workload list coming down. Y'all be good.